Chief Executive Carrie Lam has delivered her fourth policy address, which was pushed back by one month to include extra support measures from Beijing. While Lam touted over 200 new initiatives to put Hong Kong back on the track to recovery, few of them stood out. She outlined measures to boost the housing supply and reiterated that the controversial Lantau reclamation project will go ahead despite widespread opposition. But we first look at how the government plans to further integrate Hong Kong into the mainland, specifically the Greater Bay Area. Raymond Yun reports. Chief Executive Carrie Lam finally unveiled the support measures for which she had to delay the policy address and secure backing from Beijing. With the aim of further integrating the city into the country, existing Stock Connect programs will now include Hong Kong-listed biotech firms, which do not make a profit. This will bail out startups by allowing them to trade on the mainland's starboard and tap into a huge pool of investors. But companies with a secondary listing in the SAR cannot join the scheme. On facilitating cross-border travel, the city's private cars will soon be able to enter Guangdong without a permit via the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. The bridge is currently open only to a select group of mostly elite businessmen and politicians. There will be no quotas, and the scheme could be extended to other boundary control points in the future. With more Hong Kongers expected to work and live in the Greater Bay Area, the Guangdong government will allow medicine registered in the SAL be dispensed at a Shenzhen hospital run by Hong Kong University. This eliminates the need for Hong Kong residents to travel back for medicines currently unavailable across the border. Lam also confirmed studies are underway to set up polling stations on the mainland for future Hong Kong elections. Uh, there is no CPG angle. Let me make it very clear. This is a, um, a Hong Kong issue. But of course, when we have decided to implement, then we need some support and advice from the central government on whether this is possible in a mainland city to set up polling stations and so on. The scheme could be implemented as early as next year, but the exact location and number of such polling stations remain to be seen. Raymond Yang, HKIBC.